So I did a thing that I don't normally do. This was the makeup look for my solo date today and my hair. So lately, right, I have a list of things that I'm interested in doing, mainly for like date night. Granted, I am very much a homebody and I don't mind staying home. I will make myself dinner, have a glass of wine, find a good movie that I really want to watch, something of that nature, and I'll just stay home. This time around, I saw something on Instagram. One of the producers djs I'm not really sure what you would call him k tundra was coming to atlanta to do basically a mashup like a his one of his sets let me see if i can find somebody to go with me sent out a few text messages screenshots things of that nature and i was just like hey anybody interested in being my plus one one fell through at the last minute the one main person I was supposed to go with, it was a whole bunch of back and forth. And I was just like, I'm not feeling this conversation no more. So I stopped responding. And after hearing like two, three, no, I can't or whatever other excuse, I was just like, you know what? I didn't even bother to ask everybody else. Like, so I didn't send out like a mass message to different people in my phone after like the third, hey, no, I can't, or I'm, you know, I have something else going on, or a whole bunch of back and forth. I was just like, I'm not even gonna ask nobody else. My roadie, the one that I would ask, um, is not here in Atlanta. She is in Florida, and I'm trying to get her to move. I really had to take a moment, and I was just like, listen, I really want to go, and I almost didn't. If I'm being honest, I almost didn't go mainly because I just didn't want to go by myself. So I thought about it. I'm just like, Antoinette, how many things are you going to miss out on simply because you don't want to do it alone? Yes, I'm single, but I'm not going to be able to find whoever in the world my husband is, my man, my man, my man by sitting on the couch and watching Netflix and making dinner for myself. But for the man that I want to find, sorry, for the man that needs to find me, I need to be outside the house. Challenge yourself to do something completely outside of your comfort zone for the betterment of yourself. Now, I'm not doing it for the main purpose of wanting to find a man while I'm out. But he won't be able to find me if I'm snuggled up on the couch in my favorite robe. So I got dressed, went in my closet. I looked through different outfits, trying to put an idea together, got dressed. Go Got out the house, went to the concert. with myself I really did have fun I really was psyching myself out almost because I thought I wasn't gonna have fun I thought I wasn't gonna enjoy myself because I didn't have someone else with me and I was like okay Antoinette no no don't think of it that way I got used to going to dinner alone still haven't done a movie theater by myself all the concerts I've done and or have been to 
have been with someone else. So I've never actually done a concert by myself. Um, I do travel alone, but I end up meeting someone where I'm going. So I'm just like, all right, I have to get comfortable doing more activities by myself. I'm not always going to have a plus one. I'm not always going to have the girls with me. I'm not on dating apps. I deleted dating apps back in... And everyone that was coming through the dating apps was just, did you not read my bio? Did you not read my bio? I don't care if you have kids. That don't bother me. But I literally say, I'm not here for hookups. I'm not here to be a plus one. I'm not interested in no poly nothing. You need to be a man of substance, a man of God. And then half the conversations always go left field. And I'm just like, why are we talking about this? After the initial, you know, the initial few messages, the next message is, oh, well, you know, let's do a date. And the date is, oh, well, come over to my place so we can vibe. What the fuck is a vibe? Why am I coming to your house? To, why am I leaving my vibe to come to your vibe? No. No. So I deleted the dating apps. And I'm just like, okay, Antoinette, you've been going back and forth about wanting to go to this concert. You don't have someone to go with. Are you going to miss out on an opportunity because you don't have someone to go with you? Why not just muster up the courage, put on a bomb outfit, do your makeup, basically get dressed as if you were going to get dressed to go meet someone and have fun by yourself. I'm not going to lie and say I wasn't nervous. I really was nervous in all honesty because I was just like, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm by myself. I want to be able to vibe out and have fun. I don't want to have to, you know, look like I'm not, like I'm forcing myself. So I shared my location with my homegirls. Shared my location so at least, you know, somebody know where the hell I am for a just in case type situation. And, and in all honesty, looking back at some of the footage, I really did have fun. As of now, I really don't have any intention on getting back on dating apps. I'm actually really enjoying just dating myself. And I have a bucket list of things that I kind of want to do. Um, if I so happen to meet somebody in the mix, okay, cool. But again, the purpose of my solo dates really isn't for me to meet someone. It's for me to introduce myself to a wider palette. And not just a palette of food, but different activities. Like a prime example. Today, the DJ or the producer that I went to go see does house music. Not even realizing that some of my favorite songs that I play time and time again were from this one particular like DJ producer. Now, I don't do, I can't do EDM music. There's just something about EDM music that I just... Eh, it just, I can't do EDM, but house music, oh, I can do. And like house, Afro beats, house, house R&B music. I don't really do house pop, but I'm, I'm here for house music. Yes, it was something different, but again, that is me widening my palette. Opening myself up to different styles of music um, and then different styles of and, and that also opens me up to more people. I've been saying for some time that I really want to have like my own friend group out here in Atlanta. And I don't know why it's so hard to make friends out here. I can see like all the little clicks, the different styles of people that tend to gravitate together, which is fine. I just can't wait until I find like my people. You know what I mean? I would love to be able to put in like a group chat and say, hey, this is what I'm doing tonight or I'm having a game night or I'm hosting dinner or actually I'm cooking dinner and I made enough for five people who wants to come over. I don't have that just yet. I'm working on it, but I don't have it just yet. My bucket list consists of different things to again, widen my palette, open myself up to introduce me to me. 
see what things I really don't like, see what things I do like. Because I can't say I don't like something if I've never actually done it before. So I'm taking the time to really explore me in other ways that I pretty much wouldn't do if I was in a relationship. I'm excited for what's to come. I'm excited for the journey that I'm going to take myself off. Or I'm, I'm excited for the journey that I'm going to take myself on. I am honestly living out my single life to the absolute best of my ability. And I was telling my homegirl the other day, and I'm just like, listen, bills will always be there. But you only have one life to live. I intend on living. And I want to live life out loud. So, I'm off to bed. It is after midnight. And I have to work tomorrow. Okay, bye.